What's this? It's a non-disclosure agreement. It means that you cannot discuss anything about us with anyone. I'm afraid my lawyer insists on it. I'd never talk to anyone about us anyway. Are you going to make love to me now? Two things. First, I don't make love. I fuck. Hard. And the second thing? It's just beyond this door. What is? My playroom. Like your Xbox and stuff? It's important that you know you can leave at any time. Why? What's in there? I meant what I said. The helicopter's in standby to take you whenever you want to go. Could you just open the door? Call the flogger. Say something, please. Do women do this to you, or do you? No, I do this to women, with women, women who want me to. You're a sadist? I'm a dominant. What does that mean? It means I want you to willingly surrender yourself to me. Why would I do that? To please me. To please you? How? I have rules. If you follow them, I'll reward you. If you don't, I'll punish you. You'd punish me? Like you'd use this stuff on me? Yes. What would I get out of this? Me. in the open now. No need to pretend. This is who I am. This is who he is. I knew it. I knew it. Someone's at the door. You're not his sister. That's delightful. I am. Don't do it!
Hey, get your ugly face off of her! Look what I got! What's wrong, Norman? Don't turn the light on. I have something to tell you, but I'd rather tell you in the dark. What is it? Are you afraid of me? I'll never be afraid of you, Norman. The thing that James Finnegan said to me, I can't get it out of my head, it's so awful. Mostly because I'm afraid it's true. And I need to tell someone. And I trust you more than anyone, but it might make you hate me. It might make you afraid of me because it's made me afraid of myself. Tell me, Norman. He thinks... He thinks that I'm attracted to you. Sexually. I got so mad when he said it, I wanted to kill him. But then the more I thought about it, I... I mean, I love you so much, and I am so close to you. I just think, think that Norman, sometimes... stop it right now. You are not attracted to me. Don't look at me. Norman, Norman, uh, listen to me. It, it is completely normal. Y you're, you are developing sexually. You're just confused. It, it, it's silly. Honey, we're, we're, we're just people. We're, we're on some level like animals, instinctual. You're a man, I'm a woman, so maybe you notice my breasts once in a while. Big deal, it's freaking normal. It doesn't mean you're weird or that there's anything wrong with you. It doesn't? No! <laughs> no! What makes us not animals is that we make choices. You can't help what you think, what your impulses are. We all have crazy ones. I do. It, it, it's... It, I guarantee you, people dream about sleeping with their parents, their teachers, their dogs. <laughs> it's just how we're wired. Sex is confusing. So you need to stare it in the face and you need to say that is stupid. <laughs> it is stupid. It's stupid. I should have never let that pseudo doctor talk to you. It's so much for therapy. Listen to me. I don't ever want you to second guess anything about me. We are solid. We love each other. You are my whole world. You are my whole world. You always have been. Hug me, damn it. Come on. This is silly. Come on, dude. You're going to get this out of your head. Don't ever let anyone's words come between us. They're meaningless. This is the only thing that's real. Right? You and me. There's, I don't know, rubbing. 
where the usual place is. That's not the point of therapy, but I have to keep things vague. Jumble up all the men, the exes, the lovers. It doesn't matter who they are. It matters how they make me feel. <laughs> Lying is like taking a trip. You're just pretending. You're just pretending to touch yourself. Scott's possessive, jealous. He likes to own me. He figures out all my passwords. Which is kind of sexy. So, when I came home last night, Scott was on my laptop, wondering why... Scott's behavior is not normal. It's a form of emotional abuse. Are you ever afraid of Scott? It's not abuse. Not if you don't care, and I don't. Maybe it's become a normal state for you. Is it normal I think about you all the time? Dance with me. I'm not used to being spoken to like that by a man I met once at a railway station. I dare say, but if I'm not to dance with you, then I'm getting out of this operetta and going home. Then for Kitty's sake.
Now open your eyes. How do I look? You look good. This is what I'd wear on our date. Right, first a traffic intersection, then maybe a show. I'd like us to go on a date. Yep, yep. It'd be fun. Are you attracted to me? What? Are you attracted to me? They give me indications that you are. I do? Yes. How? Micro-expressions. Micro-expressions. The way your eyes fix on my eyes and lips. The way you hold my gaze. But don't. Do you think about me when we aren't together? Sometimes at night. I'm wondering if you're watching me on the cameras. And I hope you are. Now your micro expressions are telegraphing discomfort. I am not sure you'd call them micro. make you feel uncomfortable. 